In the previous video, we discussed about the muscular dystrophy and its types. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about the Duchenne muscular dystrophy in detail. The Duchenne muscular dystrophy is X-linked recessive disorder, which is due to mutation of gene on X chromosome at XP21.2 locus. As we know, Duchenne muscular dystrophy is inherited in an X-linked recessive pattern. So all females typically are carriers, while males are affected. Furthermore, when we look at the clinical manifestations, we see these symptoms mostly appear by the age of 4, like progressive weakness in muscles due to skeletal muscle degeneration. We have pseudohypertrophy of calf muscles. We also see spinal deformity, which eventually leads to scoliosis. And then there is cardiomyopathy. We also have some other clinical manifestations, but they are of minor role. Now going again to the molecular part. When we see on the XP21.2 locus, it has got DMD or dystropin gene. This dystropin gene makes us the dystropin protein. And this protein plays important role in skeletal muscles. It connects a cytoskeleton of muscle fiber to surrounding extracellular matrix through cell membrane. And this dystropin protein forms complex in the form of dystropin associated protein complex. Which we are going to see how this dystropin protein forms complex and how we get the Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Here in this diagram we can see we have the sarcolemma, which is basically the cell membrane of muscle cell. On the outside of the sarcolemma it has got extracellular matrix and then basal lamina as shown in the diagram. Now when we see the inside of the cell we have the actin filaments to which the dystropin protein is bound as shown in the diagram. The dystropin protein is rod-shaped protein which has been shown in the diagram which extends up to sarcolemma. And here on the sarcolemma we have different types of proteins assembling together. First of all we have the alpha dystroglycon on the outside of sarcolemma. And then we have the beta dystroglycon which is transmembrane protein. This beta DG binds and interacts with the dystropin protein as shown in the diagram. And we see these dystroglycon proteins act as transmembrane linkage between extracellular matrix and cytoskeleton. Furthermore, we have the sarcoglycon complex, which is made up of four transmembrane proteins as shown in the diagram, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. And to this sarcoglycon complex, the sarcospawn protein comes in and binds with it, as shown in the animation. And if we see the intracellular activities within the muscle cell, two important proteins bind with the dystropin protein. First, alpha dystrobriven protein binds at the extreme end of dystropin protein. And then this alpha dystrobriven protein binds with the syntropins as shown in the diagram. In the form of alpha, beta 1 and beta 2 syntropin proteins. These syntropin proteins are important adapter proteins involved in the signal transduction. And also syntropin proteins binds the N-anoids, that's nitric oxide synthase. Now looking at the extracellular part. Here the alpha dystroglycon protein binds to the laminin protein in the basal lamina as shown in the diagram. So these are the proteins that form as the dystropin associated protein complex. Now looking at the XP21.2 locus. It has got dystropin gene with 79 exons. But when we get the mutation in the dystropin gene, some exons are deleted, like from 45 exon to 55 exons are deleted, which gives us the out of frame dystropin transcript. And ultimately, we get the truncated protein, or even the dystropin protein is absent in this mutation. And looking at the diagram, when we have DMD, that's Duchenne muscular dystrophy, the dystropin is absent. And in that case, DAPC, that's dystropin associated protein complex, is unable to form. Like we see here, the sarcospawn is unable to get to the sarcolemma. And we know the sarcospawn mediates AKT signaling. So AKT signaling is also halted here. And uh, we know when dystropin is absent, at that time the nitric oxide synthase is also absent. So muscle contraction is dysregulated. So after all these events, the absence of dystropin protein destabilizes the motor movements of the cell, which in turn creates the openings in the sarcolemma as shown in the diagram. Upon this, the creatine kinase from the muscle cell leaves and there is influx of calcium ions into the cell as shown in the animation. And this leads to mitochondrial dysfunction, 
which in turn increases the ROS in the cell. That damages the cell and eventually there is cell death when apoptosis is driven. So all these molecular events leads to Duchenne muscular dystrophy. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. You can support me on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.